four. Fast and dawn, every line earthquakes when I form a rhyme. Face off, I take off, three amigos. Get the pesos, crook your halos, my cerebral. A matador on the war when I spit venom. Wisdom's exorcism, unleash the devil's in them. It's ill mad, eat the two, all mad. This is Judah Priest, this is my boy. I always say that. Just, just phenomenal, dope ass artist. Uh, whoops, uh, language. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, a uh, member of Wu Tang Clan or Wu Tang Extension. So, Judah, tell people what we're doing um, tonight. Well, before we start, let me say that. Let me say I'm from the Brooklyn Zoo um, branch of Wu Tang Clan. Um, with that being said, you know what I mean? I got to shout out uh, RIP. Uh, we lost two two key members, two key soldiers, our uh, generals. 12 o'clock and Mad Murdoch yesterday from Brooklyn Zoo. Uh, they was, you know, that's Young Dirty Bastards Cousins, um, OD, ODB, Old Dirty Bastards, that's Old Dirty Bastards Cousins also, um, Timbo King and everybody, man. So just wanna, you know, shout out, shout out, you know what I mean? Not fallen soldiers, man. You know, send them my condolences and everything to the family. Um, you know, we still you know Brooklyn Zoo was riding all the way with y'all, man. Um, with that being said, you know, um, me, I'm just a I'm just a lonely black man doing what I love to do. Music. You know what I mean? <laughs> Music, business, you know what I mean? Like I don't take I don't take the hip hop for granted. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A lot of it, it's funny because a lot of times, <clears throat> excuse me. So I, I, yo, like listen, it's not COVID, like <laughs> <laughs> I just went through that a week ago, <laughs> so I feel you, okay? <laughs> no, I get, I get hay fever. I got a little tipple on my nose right now. You know what I mean? No, I don't do coke. Um, <laughs> but now, um, I don't take hip hop for granted. Um, it's funny. A lot of a lot of people. I had. I guess they they have a perception of me like I'm some. I'm a big guy. I'm like yo. I'm a. They were like I didn't know you was this silly. You know. Like I'm human, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm down to earth, I'm low key. I don't look at stature as far as like levels in hip hop and all that. I don't believe in all that, you know? Um, you know, people always ask, well, how did you make it? What you mean? I, it started with the mental first for me. You know what I mean? Um, I'm a Bible head, so you know, anything that you, anything that you think, therefore you are, the Bible says, the Bible says there's life and death in the power of tongues. Therefore, anything that you speak positive, positive things will come up, uh, will manifest. Anything negative will manifest. So okay. therefore, I think I, you know what I'm saying? I I I, I speak it into existence. Therefore, I think it, therefore is my, you know what I mean, my footsteps is guided um to becoming and manifest is right then and there. So I made it the day that I decided that I'm going to be this guy so you know that's just a, a little about me you know what i mean i'm not i'm not some big some big dude wu-tang is family you know what i mean we can already fall out because you know how <laughs> i feel about you like stop doing that stop downplaying your greatness i think even on the first interview you tried that those shenanigans <laughs> you so dope true. like okay who who won the battle who won the uh the versus the battle why are you asking the question you already know? I keep trying to see, I keep telling y'all, man, I'm a hip hop artist. You know what I mean? I'm from that I'm from that boom bap, you know what I mean? Golden era of hip hop. I was I was battling the line dancer. You know what I mean? It's, we we're not on the same level, you know what I mean? But that's my brother though. Shout out to Supreme the Resurrected. You know what I mean? Shout out but to we him. know. Dope, 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 dope artist. Yeah, he's a dope line dancer. <laughs> I cannot. Here you go with the shenanigans. This is what we're doing tonight? Okay, let's go. Uh, so you're coming to Charlotte, North Carolina. <clears throat> I'm just gonna jump ahead so I can cut this the recording of the recording off. Tell people what you're coming down here for and what you're gonna be doing. Hey man, this Saturday, August 14th, man, I'm gonna be at the Party Animal Garage with Celebrity DJ Cat X, Mix Mafia Radio, Mix Mafia Events. Shout out to my publicist, my publicist Angela Covington. Um, I'm coming along with Dungeon Master, Supreme the Resurrector, Fire Nation Flames, Lisey B, Kylie the Chef, Nick Driller, Dre Artist, Keyshawn the K, and a lot more. I just found I just found out my brother Twist Flavors performance. So this is gonna be his first performance. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be mad historical, you know what I mean? For anybody, you know what I mean, that's gonna be, you know what I mean, in attendance. I want y'all to come. Please wear a mask. Um, 
please wear a mask. But it's going to, it's, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely going to be dope. Um, we got, we got opening performances by um, A Baker, um, my boy, my boy Carolina, hot boy coming through. You know what I mean, uh, Mr. Sandman. Like, I, man, listen, it's going to be, it's going to be a stream, man. Like, you know what I mean. We do, we put on, we put on for the city. I, you know what I mean. I might not be from Charlotte, man, but anywhere I go, I go. I try to embrace that city. I, I embrace that love. I embrace that support. I support other artists. You know what I mean. Right. So like, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely going to be something monumental. You know what I mean? I've been trying to get to the Queen City for a minute, man. It took it took a mad minute, but yo, finally here. My big sister Wu Tang Clan's own Blue Raspberry will be in the building. Wow. You know what I mean? Okay. Right. You know what I mean? A couple more surprise guests. And Blue Raspberry was the original uh, female writer for Wu Tang Clan, correct? Yes. If you if you if you're familiar with Meth Man, his first. His second, his second, his first official single from his first album, not M E T H O D Man. That was a Wu Tang Clan cut, right. but the first Method Man song um, was called Release Your Delph. Um, that sounded like um, I Will Survive. So she was like, When I first stepped on the scene, it was <laughs> petrified. That was Blue Raspberry. You know what I mean? She sung on classic songs like Rainy Days on Raekwon album, um, the infamous um, Ice Cream song by Wu Tang Clan. You know what I mean? Plus, you know, she got her own catalog right now. So she's definitely going to be in the building. I'm excited. That's my big sis. You know what I mean? And we're we putting on for Brooklyn Zoo right now. You know what I mean? So it's we're the whole Brooklyn Zoo camp that's coming to Charlotte. No, this is a, um, all 140, all 144,000 shows. A few that's coming to um, that's coming to Charlotte. But uh, myself and Dungeon Master is from Brooklyn Zoo. And you no know, Blue Raspberry is from Wu Tang. Okay, so and for people who don't know what that 144,000 shows of view is, can you just uh, briefly tell them what that is? That's my own. That's my own entity. That's my own brand. Um, I realized a long time ago, you know, even though I'm a part of something, it's not mine. So I needed to start something that's. I mean, mine and with what I do with those who runs run with me with 144,000 shows of view, I want them to claim the brand. But I don't want them to be just of the brand. I want them to take the same footsteps um, that I took. And I, I sit down and I guide them, you know, be, don't be just a hip hop artist, be a businessman, be a businesswoman. You know what I mean? And we just want to branch off like that, man, because again, you know, like I just, you know, we all was just in um, Nebraska, Indiana, Illinois, Chicago, Denver, Colorado, and we met a conglomerate of people to this day I still keep a contact you know what I mean like that's the that's that's why that's why I said earlier you know what I mean I certain things that separates me I don't see myself here even though people view me I'm just a, a, a normal dude who just do you no know, love to I'm do what sick he of you here you go I mean <laughs> trying to be modest and then when you start spitting you offend people I'm tired of you okay <laughs> I mean, this, this, this is what it is, man. Like, see, here's, here's the thing. I learned a long time ago, there is Sean and there is Judah. Mm -hmm. Two different people living in one body. Okay? Yeah. Yes, I have multiple potion personalities. All right, like, you know what I mean? I don't take medicine for them. You know what I mean? But, you know, when I get to the venue, I'm Judah. You're Judah, you gonna turn up. Right. <laughs> he, that's, that's that's his lane, but you know, even like right now, man, you get you get in Judah, but I'm in my relaxed mode, so you get in Judah and Sean back and forth, man. So, you know, they they speaking in two different times, you know what I mean? All right, I can dig it, I can dig it, so I know how to reach both of them. I know what content I need to pull out to talk to both <laughs> of them. So we get ready to talk to Sean. Judah, tell people when they need to come out there so they can take part of it. I know I'm coming out to check you out, but you know, for everybody else that want to come out and represent. Hey man, let us the doors opening at eight. You know what I mean? We're gonna be trying to, you know, kick things off around like nine o'clock, man. Um, I will be in the mist. Like I don't I don't play that back green room thing like that. I like to be around people, you know what I mean, mingling and, and networking and building like that. So the doors open at eight, you gonna see me and the team out there. You know, um merch tables definitely gonna be popping off right now. Um, and we just looking to put on for your city. You know what I mean? We, we, we want to come and represent us, but still, you know what I mean, feel the love and the support uh, from the city of Charlotte. You know what I mean? All right, and I'm happy about that. Judah, tell people your newest project that you have out and, you know, a couple of songs you're going to be 
uh, performing on stage? Well, this is, this is, see, that's a great question. And I'm about to give you a great answer because the songs that I'm performing is coming up off my new album that's dropping on my birthday, August 24th. Yeah. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I have my new, my new album is called The Last Goodbye. You know what I mean? Yeah. So y'all want to, y'all want to get a, a real good extensive preview of the music. You know what I mean? Uh, that's going to be on the album because I'm rocking the, I'm rocking the album live on stage in Charlotte. Okay. Woo woo. You got to copy this. This is like Judah Priest is one of my favorites and just like his modesty. And I always, again, he does have two personalities so you never know which one you're going to get. So very like much. bomb artist, yo. So definitely check him out. Follow him on social media, Instagram, Facebook. You on TikTok, Judah? You better not be on TikTok, Judah. <laughs> All right, so, so check it though, right? <clears throat> I have a TikTok. I don't be on TikTok. <laughs> I just recently logged back there like two days ago because I found out that my music was on TikTok. Wow. So now I'm trying to I'm trying to learn how to moderate that. You know what I mean? I like to be amongst the people. You know what I mean? So you got to be on all social media platforms. You know what I mean? All right. Well, follow him on social media. Don't follow him by his government name. Like, cause I be tagging him by his government name. He like, nah, 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 we can't do that, sis. <laughs> nah, 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 yo, you know what though? Because it's not, it's like, yo, you, you can tag me on my personal joint, you know what I mean? But my thing is like this, right? <clears throat> I used to didn't mind it, but then again, there is the business aspect, you know what I mean? So if my name, if the Judah Priest name is on some content, it shouldn't go to Sean Gardner. Right, like, right, right. It should definitely go because you know what I mean. I want I want my brand to be able to promote your brand. You know what I mean? Let and me I ask put, you something. You know, MF and Doom got a street named after him in Virginia. Yes. That, so what you what you think about that as an old school hip hop head? How does that make you feel that they're paying homage <clears> to him like that? Hey yo, let me let me let me tell you the greatest Jedi Jedi mind trick, right? See when I when I talk with, with like when people when people realize like I I love hip hop but I love all genres of music right right like 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 real talk real quick if you was to get in my car with me right now you hear me listen to the, like Billy Joel George Michael some Shaw Day some Shaq Khan so you know what I mean some Gap Band I, I I rarely listen to hip hop so to go back to your question right right. I was first introduced mad early because my father was a DJ. But when I fell in love with hip hop, you know what I mean? You know, that was the my Adidas and then everything that came after that. So to speed it up, I remember third base. And I never knew this. Like I just, it, 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 it kind of messed me up because I just recently found out about it like a year or two. Matter of fact, when MF Doom passed away, mm -hmm. right? Matter of fact, it was the, tree, the, the street sign and this when I found this out because the street name is KMD, mm -hmm. MF Doom. So me, and like, yo, like real talk, understand I've been around some of the mad times. Right, right, right. So I'm like, well, what the hell? What is what is KMD? Like, I know him as MF Doom, what is the KMD? So yo, one of my favorite songs from third base is Gas Face, classic right. song. Classic. You know what I mean? They, only, they had two classics. Gas Face and Pop Goes the Weasel, but Gas Face was like MC Search first did it for me. Mm -hmm. So if you remember the song, it was a dude at the end who name was KMD, right? Mm -hmm. Swear to God, I never knew that was MF Doom. Okay. I gotta go back in and watch the end of that video because I haven't heard that song in years. I just watched it the other day <laughs> because like yo, when I when I met when I met son, like you know he had weight on him. Right, you know what I mean? different. Like in, in a gas face, he, he like mad skinny. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? He was younger so, though. Right, so I was like, I never put two to two together until the street sonics. I was like, yo, what is, what is MF, what is K KMD? Like, right. and I just like, yo, somebody told me and I had to go back and watch the video. You know that what I mean? So, point. <laughs> yeah, that like, it, like you know, he did, he did a lot of work with the Spectre Deck. You know what I mean? They, they had an album. Um, album and stuff together him and ghostface had an album metal face you know what i mean mm -hmm. they had an album and stuff together but i never knew he was kmd wow that's crazy <laughs> you know though I mean? but you took the time out to research it so that that speaks highly to you i had 
I had to research it because I like to argue. <laughs> you know what I mean? So in order for me to argue, I got to go back and do my study and then revisit this conversation. You right, know what right, I mean? Right, right, right. I, I don't like to be wrong. Right. Even, because my thing is, even when I'm wrong, I'm right. I, it's just Lord, something to spin You're such a man. <laughs> it is what it is, yo. <laughs> Even when you're wrong, you're right. Okay, we'll take that. But yeah, it's like, yo, it's the it's the ter- yo, it's the it's the get rich and die trying. See, I'm always right, but even when I'm wrong, there was a slim chance that I could oh I could still be right when I'm that? wrong. It was all get rich and die, get rich and die trying. It was Terrence Howard. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. So he's like, he said, like, even if I'm wrong, I'm only wrong just for a little bit because I'm still right. Mm-hmm. That's the realest, that's the realest stuff I can tell you. <laughs> the realest far fetched thing that you can tell me it is what it is, okay? So, again, tell people where to follow you, and then I got a few more questions. No, nah, I'm here. You, here. you got me all night if you need me. <laughs> um, Facebook, yo, just my, yo, my Facebook is uh, facebook.com backslash official Judah Priest, and that's because there's a lot of fake Judah Priest pages out there that I did not create. So, facebook.com backslash official Judah Priest. Instagram and Twitter is the same handle at I am Judah Priest. That's at I am J U D A H P R I E S T. Check me out on Halanis at Judah Dash Priest. Actually, I got two pages. You can check me out at Judah No Space Priest. Same thing. Um, Look for the blue ink. Yeah, just Google me. <laughs> check me out on Google. My website is down, but it'll be, it'll be back up on um, by Friday. Um, I got a lot of new content, um, especially coming from the record label. If anybody, I mean, for all those who have been following me, um, you see, I put, I've been putting out a lot of a lot of content, um, old, older content, because again, you know, the key thing with being in hip hop is having your own, which means having your own brand, having your own entity. So I went back, I put out all my masters, I own all my music wow. out. You know what I mean? So I re-released certain yeah. certain, certain songs, certain albums, um, even albums that were shelved by Sony. You know how y'all feel? Because now I'm under Sony Fortune, under my own brand, and y'all still put my content. You know what I mean? So yeah, you know it's just it's just like the August 24th, the last goodbye. You know what I mean? It's just drop it. I'll be dropping another album right before 2022 come in too. So it's a lot of work. Well, you, I mean, you, you've always been about that work. Like I haven't spoken to you and you haven't been putting out music. You've been readily consistent. So why is that important to always put out the music? That's <clears throat> good, but music. Here's the thing, right? And I'm just going to say this like, because of, because, because of the times that we live in, mm-hmm. right? Life is too short. Mm-hmm. And for one, as a as a man and as a father, who like I'm a father, I'm not a daddy, I'm a father. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It is my job to be the example. So I wanted to show my my children that consistency pays off. Nice. But not only not only that, hard work and dedication equals consistency. That's going to pay off. And I want to be able to leave a legacy. Right. Therefore, I've of course so much. I've of course so much. Like, listen, that pandemic, pandemic, that was nothing to me because I was already locked in a seclusion. I own a studio outside right. of my home. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. For a whole year, me and Blacksmith, you know what I'm saying? And my man Ease on Fire was already locked in the studio day and night. Just record and write and record and write it. You know what I mean? Right. So when the pandemic came, it was nothing. I just took that same time at the in, at the, in the at the house studio mm-hmm. and was still writing and recording. So when I say like when I say leave a legacy, listen, God forbid, God forbid. You know what I mean? If it's my last day, it's my last day. But there is still something for me to give people, even even during my departure. Right. It is it's still something that my children can now capitalize off of and sell, you know what I mean? And still share my story, even in my departure. Mm-hmm. Supreme, Supreme or Resurrected get, gets on me all the time. Like, you always release the music, probably. I tell them, you don't release enough music. Right. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's, just, it's just good content. When you have 
so much. Like, listen, just over, just like, let's just do with the pandemic. I'd already recorded 275 songs. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. And you only get 12 songs per album. That's right. You know what I mean? That's why you still get Tupac albums. That's right, you're right. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's the dedication and consistency. And the dope thing about it is, it shows growth. That's within right. the As far as like, just like the personal and lyricism. Mm -hmm. And I study, like, so I don't just write to write. I study. Again, I'm a, I'm a Bible head. Right. You know what I mean? I read, I, I study Quran. I, you know what I mean? I study mathematics. You know what I mean? Think I can apply to life and make a positive life force. I'm going to study it. I'm going to take it and apply it to life. But I am also want to give back so I can teach others. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? They, they know the knowledge is the nourishment. So as right. long as I'm nourishing myself, I'm going to keep giving out appetizer after appetizer than the main course. Facts. All right. You know I what I mean? expect nothing less from you. So during this whole pandemic, because like you said, you've been still whipping it in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. What's the most import, important lesson that you learned within this last year? Stay to myself. <laughs> Stay out of the way. Stay out. Nah, yo, you know what? This. I think the biggest, and I'll say, I, I, you know, I, I take pauses like that because I, I, I like to word okay. things the, the correct way, man. I think too many people are so quick to speak in and everything, but I think the biggest the biggest lesson that I actually probably learned um, outside of consistency and humility, I would I would I would really I would really have to say I would really I would really have to say foundation foundation being able being able to build again you know what I mean listen yeah. like a plan a a a, a, a pandemic. Coronavirus. Now you got Delta. Yeah, now you now you now you have Delta. Let them mutate it like three to four times. Right. You know what I mean? And I'm not talking against I ain't gonna say it's tough true ones. That's that's not for me to say. Right. Just stay safe, people. But we just went a whole year and a half, almost two years without tours, live shows, events. So when I say foundation, I had to find other ways to build a foundation for me to, you know what I mean, not be a capital, capitalized off it, because it's not capitalism, but I had to build. Right. You can't, you can't build a house, an apartment, a, 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 a job or, or nothing without solid foundation. Right. You know what I mean? You know, you, and you know, and, and that pandemic allowed me to see certain people for who they, who they are. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Who, who's real, who's not. But who, but also who has the same mindset as you? That's right. You know what I mean. So foundation, build, building a foundation. Just, just you know what I mean. Just digging up the hole so you can you start laying down your bricks and mm -hmm. you know putting your pipes and stuff in. That's 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 what I learned. Right. Again, again, uh, uh, from 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 that pandemic, I built 144, 000, uh, 144 records. Right. The group is the group is 144,000 shows a few, but now is a new entity called 144 Records. I done put out mad different artists, and see again with foundation equals equality. So now artists who even if they didn't want to do CD Baby, Tune Core, and all that, mm -hmm. I have given because I'm, I'm a giver. You know what I mean? Right. And I love the network. I love my people. I have given people a platform on a broader scale to release music mm -hmm. and to create their own. But in order for them to create their own to come through me, I first must build That's right. foundation. That's right. You know what I mean? And still be able to learn from me, take the keys to ignition, and then build on your own. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. But even with that, if I build the foundation and I want you to build on your own, only thing that you're doing is adding on, which means that the first floor is already built, so we got to start with a second floor. Right. You know what I mean? So that's what I learned. You know what I mean? Building a foundation. Okay. You know what I mean? And putting putting put, putting people in the in the right positions to handle certain things. But therefore, first, you must know. You know what I mean? The business and the language of the position before you put anybody else there. That's right. That's how you build. Everybody can't handle every position, so you need to know, like, first of all, is this person able and capable? So, you know, but that's a leader. That's the mindset of a leader. 
And that's why I do everything for myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But but I mean, and you know, I'll give you an exclusive. As of yesterday, 144,000 chosen few is now turned into 144,000 chosen few LLC. Okay, congratulations. You know what I mean? We, we thank you, thank you. You know, we do, Welcome. we do, we do when we deal with equality. You know, I mean, we gotta make sure everything is right. That's what's up. You know what I mean? So I yeah, you know. That. Good job. Like you gonna dog on it's a benefit and it's mm -hmm. a legacy at the end of the day. I went back to college and everything. Wow. I mean That's I'm at Full Sail University learning learning engineering. I'm My learning. Friend. I mean, yeah, like I'm almost I've graduated December. Shut up. That's yeah. shut up. That's why you haven't been on social media like that. You've been in school. What? <laughs> I no, not 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 yes and no. Yes, okay. Well. Reason I really, really ain't been on social media uh -huh. is because social media is, is just is just too much. Um, is just too, uh, too much of a toxic, uh, a mental toxic, and um environment, man. Right. I don't think of fights, man. And a lot, you know, listen, people like just because your food look good to you don't mean that it looks good to everybody else, man. Don't right. put it on. I, I get tired of seeing that. I'm, I'm tired of seeing relationship troubles on social media. Right. I'm tired of, you know what I mean? Even with the, even with the, you know what I mean? The it's social injustice. And I love, you know what I mean? I love being in the midst and the revolting with the people, you know, and, right. and making a standpoint. Um, but it's just, sometimes it's just too overbearing. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, if I'm concentrating, because like, yo, like real talk, it's so easy to get hooked on social media. Yes. Like yo, okay, like case case of point. Let me let me let me let me just ask you the interviewer one question. Okay. When has Facebook become the guide for relationships? I ain't. I don't even know. Because, <laughs> but... Like not, like no, no like but seriously. What else? Let me just give you two key points on that. Like let's all like yo, for for one, the the amount of. SUVs, I'm um, pictures I'm getting like unwanted in my DM. I, I'm okay. not with that. I'm not. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy. I'm not. Yes. I'm not thirsty. DMs? Dude, I know you lie. Nah, like yo, I don't. I don't. Come listen, on, ladies. I don't. I don't because I uh, see. I like the whole um, whole women as queens. Right. Like so, even if I speak to you, and because I'm polite, I'm gonna speak. You speak to me, I'm gonna speak back. Right, right, right. But don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I'm sorry, I don't want to see nipples, and I don't do. I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not that. You gotta do better, I'm not, sis. I'm not that guy. But when I ask that question, right, even if you're in a relationship, mm -hmm. well, your profile says you're single, so that means that you're single. Why is Facebook the, the basis for a relationship? You know right. what I'm saying? It shouldn't be that. Oh. Why are you hiding? Mean, you can take pictures with everybody else, but you can't take pictures. Why does that matter? Yeah. Why, what, why as a people do we put people in our business? So when I do get on with you, and you can attest to this, when I do get on Facebook, if I'm not clowning preen, I'm posting all business, and I yeah. stop clowning on preen after the after the verses. I stop clowning right. on them right. because now this is this is about this is about business. I am not here, even though it's a personal page. Right. This is not for. For personal for people to be in my circumference with you know what I mean my family is private right that's right I show I show pictures of my children but not a lot right you know what I mean it's not for me to broadcast to the world what I'm doing behind the scenes and make it look like I'm a good father right you know what I mean so like like I had I just had to I had to take a, a mental break you know what I mean but I'm back I'm I'm I'm, I'm quietly but I'm back on but it's it's all for me social right. media is for it's for business if I if I'm a network with an artist you know what I mean? Yo, let's let's network. Right. You know what I mean? I'm I'm with that. I'm not a, I'm not above anybody. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm sorry, ladies. I'm I'm just I'm just not that thirsty dude. I'm or sad. like, like it's like on. you know we get a stereo we get a we, we get stereotype we get stereotype. Yo, listen. I'm 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 cool. I don't I don't want breasts and legs and thighs and I don't want that I don't want that in because listen I have daughters. Right. I have daughters and, and you know, I teach my daughter like this is what we, we don't do the sexting thing. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? If you would have a if you in a relationship with a person, that's what y'all do, yo, y'all do that. I don't do that. Right, that's right. I don't do that. You know what I mean? And it just just let's say I was in a relationship type shit. And I'm oh sorry, it's a type thing, right? Mm -hmm. And I get unwanted rest of my job. How am I explain that? I, I don't this explain. That's right. That's a that's a stranger pick to me. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> 
I don't like drama. Right. I'm cool. Less let me be. Let me. Let me. Let me. Listen. Let me. Let me be. Ladies, <laughs> let me be. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here for that. I can't even believe they're doing that, but it is what it is, y'all. Uh, yo, but see, this is again, man. This is this is the stigma. See, I wear Wu Tang. That's you know family and all that, but not all women. But they know who they are. Right. They see. They see the. They see this. Right. They, they see me on stage, and they think to change. I'm not that guy. Right. I'm not that guy. Right. You know so what I mean? Listen, you know, I don't, I don't, listen, man, I, I don't do what everybody do. Right. I don't do what everybody do. You know what I mean? And that's not the way to go about it, man. Listen, we can't have an intelligent conversation, you know what I mean, on an intellectual type thing, more than, hey, how was your day? What you doing? Read any good books lately? Then I'm not that guy. Yes. <laughs> you know what yes. I mean? So disappointing. We have to, we have to be held to, we have to, for one, men need to help hold women accountable for certain things, but women also need to help hold men accountable for things. You know what I'm saying? And and that's that's what we call even playing. Yes. We, 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 we all not, you know, listen, all men is not the same. Right. You know what I mean? Just like all women. I mean, I know women who get penis pics, you know what I mean? And like, yo, that's just, as a man, that's disrespectful. Right, especially you know as a person. Don't send me nothing. Uh, you know, just send them, just send them random. Like, right. who does that? Somebody who want to get cussed out. I'm an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who want to catch these hands long distance. Listen, yeah, I come yeah. from down south with these things. Okay, so. <laughs> um, and my next question, which you already answered it, and I'm so proud of you, was what was the positive changes that you made to 144,000? So chosen few you made it an llc so why why how was that beneficial to to the uh label i mean it's i mean it's more beneficial I me mean, for the the empire itself not just the label mm -hmm. but let me answer this like this man like me and you, me and you have spoken off record a lot of times. Right, 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 right. You know, so so you know, you know, you know my stance on certain things, right. especially when it comes to us as a people. I'm not gonna say black people. Us as a people, anybody right. from um, 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 third world um, blood. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna say that. You know what I mean? Right. And even with some Caucasians, I'm not, I'm not biased. Right, right. But let me just say this: the one thing that we don't have. Is opportunity. That's right. So there's also a thing but saying like we can complain about not having opportunity. Mm -hmm. And the next person can complain about opportunity. And that other person can be like, well, like, yo, we gotta do something about it. But faith without works is dead. Facts. But faith with works is alive. That's right. That's right. You know what I mean? So again, whatever you think, therefore you are. Right. You know what I mean? I had to be able to create an opportunity, not just for myself, use myself as the premise, but be able to do it the correct way, become legalized. And I had mad help, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Right. I didn't do this alone. You know what I mean? I have a community, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. But one thought, one thought, one idea, you know what I mean? It's just to see, but you got to water it. That's the work. Right. So now I have this and now I'm able to create opportunity for a lot of us right now. Right, that's right. Not not with just what I'm presenting, but even with the mindsets. You know what I mean? Again, we gotta change, we have to change the mentality. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because again, if you think it, therefore you only thing you gotta do is walk accordingly. Okay. You know what I mean? My sister Fire Nation just started, you know, she just started her own business mm -hmm. in 144. Prem already had his business, you know what I mean? But now he focused on it more. Right. Mark Mills, my role manager, he has letter apparel. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But if we all if we all had an idea and now we're working for our own individual ones, but we still a team, mm -hmm. look how many opportunities we are creating for others. That's right. You know what I mean? Lisey B just came into the fold. So she added on and now she she has her own entities with mm -hmm. third eye films and um NL NLR. Right. So now this is more opportunities for everybody else. And the first opportunity again is not not the services that we give, but 
being able to see us as a culture cre be able to create, you know what I mean, and build foundation. You see, everything that I've said has come back to what I said prior, right. you know what I mean? And this is how it becomes beneficial because, listen, the Bible says two or more gathered in the name, greater things shall happen. Amen. And from that, if you add on, that's more greatness, more greatness, and more greatness. You know, and some people, some people who have savage mentality have bought into it. And now their mind is not savage and now on this on a on, on a positive note. So now they're able to add on. See, we 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 as people always want to make excuses of why we can't. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And especially when it comes to the older generation. You know what I'm saying? Because we are the examples for the youngins. Right. You know what I mean? So if I can't lead by an example and I'm just giving excuses, what does that say? You know what I'm saying? For the generation behind us. That's right. So the major thing that we, you know what I mean? From, you know, making it, to, making it to a company was to be able to create opportunity to be able to change the mentality and still give people services. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? No one, is, no one is bigger than anybody else. You know what I mean? But at the end, at the end of the day, just like I can teach you, it's things that you can teach me. Right. You know what I mean? So that's that, That's the major change with that. Okay. I'm gonna dig it. I love that change. LLC, own it. Can't nobody else take it away. It's yours. And you can sue. <laughs> that's what's up. I can dig it. So you talked about your newest project that's coming out. Congratulations. And then Thank you. what's the, the buzz singles that's going to get airplay oh man well leave it to cat x <laughs> well i already i already uh released um a single called the last confession released a single in the video mm -hmm. um it features it features my sister um taya van Seijen, um from from over amsterdam um she's dutch you know what i mean um if anybody's familiar with her name, she appeared on RZA's um, last album. She also appeared on the Afro Samurai soundtrack mm -hmm. um, with RZA. Um, you know, that was mainly geared for the social injustices, the joy of George Floyd's, uh, the Trayvon Martins, and even the nameless, the nameless victims of police brutality and um, black political brutality. You know what I mean? Um, that we know we as a people face. You know, right. my cousin Eric, my cousin Eric Gardner. Mm. You know what I mean? You know, a lot of people didn't know that. That's that's family. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you know, you know, we I did it. I did it for all for all of them. So you know, if y'all get a chance, check out the last confession on um, video. You know, um, shout out my my, my man Avil for um, TF1 Media. Um, and that they got a lot of buzz. But I did not. Uh, you know, I just released. A new video, new single, a couple like a, like a week or two ago. Um, about to get the views and stuff up. Um, but that song was called Renegade. Renegade. And you know, we you know, and I'm giving I'm gearing up um for another two another two singles. Um Let's Go. And you know, Cad X, like yo, I was on I was on a conference call with Cad X and they played like four or five songs off the new record, giving the critique and everybody was just buzzing. So I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board to see what the next song after Let's Go is going to be. Um, you know, sh again, shout out to my publicist, shout out to Cat X. I go to them for a lot of um, advice. Um, you know what I mean? Right, and, right, just, right. and just you know, to critique. You know what I mean? I I've been in the game a long time, but that don't mean I'm always right, even though I'm right. right, right, right <laughs> you know right, what I right, mean? Right. You know, but the album, the album itself, is it generally like again. I was working on it before the pandemic. It was going to be 24 straight tracks, but then, you know, Hellraiser and Buddha Monk both, you know, came in like, yo, that's too much. Then Preen called me, he's like, yo, that's that's just way too much. So right. we narrowed it down to 12. Um, production by my little brother, Mugga Beats is on there. Production by Shaolin Beats, my man Jigs. You know, um, who else? Um, you know, special guest appearances by DJ Flipside, Buddha Monk, Sean Wiggs. Bloodsport, Napoleon the Legend, Mike Hands, um, The Bad Seed, Mickey mm -hmm. Fax, you know what I mean? So it's a family event. Now I think, oh, 144,000 shows, a few in Brooklyn Zoo was on there too. We did a combined song together. So yeah. It's popping off. Mm -hmm. It's popping off. Okay, 
So, and wrapping up. <laughs> Number one, you're coming to perform and it's gonna be at the garage. Like, tell everybody again. It's gonna be at the party in the garage. Uh, let me get the, we get the official, the official, you know what I mean, address and everything. Okay. It's gonna be at the um, Party Animal, Animal Garage, um, Charlotte, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Now we'll go on to Facebook. Uh -huh. Yep. Turn my volume down too, because you know. Yeah, Party Animal Garage, 6912 Old Lawyers Road, Charlotte, North Carolina, 252 7 all right, y'all, so get into it, show up, show out, support, and come out and listen to this bomb music. And most of your artists will be there, which is like dope. Yeah, the majority, the majority, man. I ain't bringing all 144,000, it's a lot of us, man. You know what I mean? But you know, it's definitely it's definitely gonna be a good event. You know, shout out to Mix Mafia Radio um, for sponsoring the event. My brother right. slept with DJ Cadax. You know what I mean? My big sis, my big sis, my, my publicist, Ange. You know right. what I mean? Like I said, man, we, we just looking to have a good time. And as we know, again, we, we had a week off. So this is our first show. As a matter of fact, we had two weeks off. So this is our first show in two weeks since wow. we've been back from the Midwest. You know what I mean? And we, you know, is we getting ready for this for this next run. So after Charlotte, we head down to Virginia, back down to Detroit and to Cleveland. So, you know. It's on and popping, okay. <laughs> And then I'm over. Uh, and then I'm over in Dubai. If they don't close oh, down, what's going you know, on in Dubai? No, nah, I'm, I'm going, I'm going on. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing hair switches for anybody who knows. I don't got no haircut. Um, now nah, you know we. Um, shout out to my my um my international booking agent. You know what I mean, boss lady UAE, um, Shabi Khan from Shabi Khan Entertainment. So yeah, I'm, I'm going out on tour in Dubai and Kuwait and Qatar. Um. Was, we was looking. We were supposed to be doing it this month, but things got pushed back. So we looking at we looking at February 2022, mm -hmm. right now. You know what okay. I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna be in the desert. <laughs> well, I'm just so proud of you because you manifested everything that you're doing now with your with your clothing line and with everything else with the music. So it's just one one step going up a staircase, one thing leading to the next. So. That's what's up. I'm so proud of you. You've been working some years. Appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. it. Listen, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting older. I need some, some fall back on right now. You know, start right. some new. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be Supreme and Resurrect to be 100 years old. I'm still performing on stage. Yes, I leave, I leave, I leave that for Supreme and George Clinton. I can't do that. I got bad ankles. He got out where the get was good. You like, no, nah, I'm still well, making music, but let me set up this safety net over here. So I like very much. Very, very, very. You know what? I was busy. The album, the name of my album is The Last Goodbye. I've been trying to retire for the last five years, but wow. they won't let they won't right. let me. You know what I mean? But oh, the love is still there. You know? No, never mind, never mind, Chad. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's, that's up to the most high. We see. Right. Now I mean, but no, you know, long, long, you know, I always tell people, man, like, as long as I got a message. I might not do no albums. I might just start putting out singles. Who knows? I, I can't speak from now to then. But as long as I got a message, people still want to get content, man. Right. Well, you're one of the rappers that I used to always wonder, like how rappers put out music back to back to back to back. And it's different. And then I became a writer, so I understood. So if you're good at what you do, and if you have great content, you're going to always have something fresh, especially if you're living your life. You know, and it, it go, it, go, it definitely goes back to experience mm -hmm. of life, but the nourishment, man. You know, like when you don't nourish your 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 your, your, your body, like if you eat, if, like yo, you can drink water all day, but if you don't eat, you still won't be sluggish. You won't okay. feel drink. You got to eat to replenish. You That's know what I mean? And it's the same. It's the same thing, man. We gotta we gotta mentally nourish ourselves. You know what I mean, we gotta, we, we have to read. I ain't talking about them little fantasy novels. Like we need some educational pieces. Right, right. You know what I mean? We need some spiritual belief, whatever, whatever, whatever spiritual belief you, I don't say religion, but whatever, whatever you believe in, yo, study it. Right. Not only study it, live it and walk accordingly to what you study. Become what, become what you study because you have to have faith in that. 
Okay. You know what I mean? But we have to, we, we have to replenish, we have to replenish our, our, our soul. We have to replenish our, our mentality. Right. You know what I mean? Especially if you're a writer. That's you know right. what I mean? Because when you don't replenish, you're putting out, the, you're saying the same thing just in a different right. form right. over That's here. Right. That's you know what I right. mean? You have to have that rest. You have to have that reset. So thank you so much. You were a blast as usual. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. I can always you. count on you. <laughs> hey, I'm here. I'm here. So unless, I'm do, unless I can, unless I go to Dubai. That's it. Then I don't know. Listen, you need to record that because I'm trying to see what that be like over there. All right. Oh, hey, hey, yo, listen. I'm, I'm telling you, like, I already politic with certain people. So I already seen the chalet where I will be staying at. Mm-hmm. It, sit, it, sit, it sits off of the river. Uh-huh. Because I think I think it sits, it, sits, it sits off of the Jordan. Um, mm. Beautiful, beautiful, oh, beautiful, wow. man. I just can't wait to experience. Like I love, I love performing, mm-hmm. but I love, I love experiencing new things right. more. You know what I mean? People, are, let me. I know we're about to go, but let me just say this: Young Dirty Bastard a month ago asked me this question, like, and it, and I could tell he'd been thinking about it for a long time. Mm-hmm. And we was in Denver. And we was talking for like five minutes. And then he just finally put his hand on my shoulder. And he's like, I gotta ask you. I was like, what's good? He said, why do you take the train or drive these four distances? Like, I, we, we I'm gonna say me and Twist Flavor, right. Shan Fighting Nation, we drove 27 hours to Denver. And I said, I said, yo, it's easy to fly and get there in two hours time. Mm-hmm. But in that two hours, what did you experience other than turbulence? That's right. See, even if I go to a rest stop, I've done experienced some things. I've done seen, even if I go to that rest stop four times every trip, right. I will experience something different every time because you want, you're not gonna see the same people, which means you're not gonna see the same characteristics. You know what I mean? You're gonna see something right. new every time. And you're controlling the narrative. I don't know. If you let Lisey B drive, you know, she she drives she drive 120 down the mountain. Like I'm a New Yorker. Nah. We just don't do 120 miles in a clown car that Supreme running like oh, it was no. this big. I'm six foot one. I'm in the back seat like this. You driving 120 miles down the mountain? No, we gotta talk about this. We gotta pull over. You know pull I mean? like a chitlin, right? <laughs> no, yo, and I, and I will say I'm very, you know, I'm very, I'm, I'm very proud, very proud of Lee CB, man. I, I seen her growth, and I'm glad she's. I can't wait for y'all to, to experience her. I can't wait for y'all to experience Fire Nation. You know what I mean, Kishana K. You know what I mean, Black Notes. Everybody, you know, even Preen. To it, to seeing everybody. Even, even, even Preen. But yeah, you know, listen, I want everybody. If anything that y'all get out of this, man, just two things, man. You know what I mean? Nourish, nourish your mental, nourish your soul, but live your life and experience something new every day. Right. You even just walking outside of your door and going for a walk around the block, you experience something different every day, even if you in the hood. <laughs> you know what I mean, like you have to, you, you have to experience, you because you have to enjoy life. You have to embrace life and the surroundings, of, you know what I mean, to come upon it. You right. might be from the hood, but you are not of, of the hood, man, which means right. that the the hood don't got no no narration on your life, man. Whatever whatever you think, therefore you are, man. Those are the only jewels I really want to drop right now. All right, I love it. Well, we're millionaires up in this piece, okay? I already claimed it. I got my stimulus check. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Lo J say PPP loan. We good, okay, love? Oh, we don't do those. <laughs> we don't do those. So thank you so much. Have fun, and I will see you Saturday. I appreciate it. Thanks y'all for having me on again. I definitely will see you Saturday. Bye. All right, peace. Born transform, master dawn. Every line earthquakes when I form a rhyme. Face off, I take off three amigos. Get the pesos, crook your halos, my cerebral. A matador on a wall when I spit venom. Wisdom, exorcism, unleash the devil's in them. It's ill magic, ether to a all magic.